Something else we can do with the tracks is actually change the size of them. If you go ahead and hover between the tracks, you see the cursor changes shape here. And if you click and drag, you can make the track any size you want. And that way you can really see what's going on on the event here. Now the event is what the video becomes when it's on the timeline. Every separate little piece of something on that timeline is called an event and it doesn't necessarily have to match the original media because it might be trimmed or changed in another kind of way. And so the event on the timeline is not necessarily the same as a video clip or the media file that you're starting out with. Now since we may not even need all these tracks for what we're going to do and we've already been given three tracks each of video and audio and you can have up to ten tracks each in Movie Studio, Unlimited Tracks, and Vegas Pro. I'm going to recommend that we start from scratch, have nothing on there, because we really don't want anything extra in our workspace that we don't need.